What is up guys and welcome to your fifth tutorial on Ubuntu. This is Brian Story and I'm going to teach you about folders and permissions. So let's get started. So where do we start with folders? Let's talk about creating folders and what folders really are. So folders hold things. What kind of things? Programs, other folders, applications. Applications are the same as programs and uh, documents, mostly documents. Lots and lots of documents. So how do we create one of these magical things? Well, there's two ways. One, we can right click and we can create new folder. Bam. Or we can go up to this menu bar at the top, which will change as soon as you highlight over it. Go to File, Create New Folder. So this is interesting. So we have two new folders. Check out that. We can't move them. We can move them. Check it out. Okay, so if we want to create five folders, guess what? We can do that. Two, three, four, five. Cool, but they're all like not organized or anything, so let's organize them. Let's right click on the desktop, organize desktop by name, bam, that was simple. So anyway, let's rename one of these folders. Just right click on it, go to rename, and let's type in sandwich. Because sandwiches are awesome. All right, so let's go into sandwich and take a look at this. So we got this white like window open. It's kind of interesting, but we can put stuff inside of this. So this directory or folder known as sandwich can hold other folders and directories like I said earlier. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's rename this by hitting F2 on the keyboard and let's rename this jelly. And let's go to folder three, hit F2 on the keyboard and let's rename this one peanut butter. Yeah. Okay, now let's just highlight both of these by clicking and dragging with the left click and just drag them into here like that. So now we got jelly and peanut butter. But that's not the only way you could do it. You can drag it from out here too. We can just drag this into that folder and it's done. So check that out. That is so cool, right? So let's go into jelly and let's create a document. Let's right click on the background. Let's go to create new document, empty document. Let's call this, what do I want to call this? We want to call this like stuff. Now hit enter or just double click on it. I'm going to open this up and we're going to type in this. It's jelly time. You jelly. And then we're going to just click save and exit out of that. We're going to go back. You know how we're going to go back? We're going to click up here on to sandwich. So you can navigate right here on the top. We can go to desktop, we can go back to jelly, we can go to sandwich, then go to peanut butter, and then back to sandwich. And you see how peanut butter stays there? It's kind of like, it's like memory. It remembers where you were. Now if we want to delete a folder, we're just going to right click on it and go to delete, wherever that is. I don't see it yet, but let's just move it to trash. You can remove it to trash, but you know, I don't really want to move it to trash. I want to just delete it. So I'm going to hold shift and delete and just hit enter to delete this. Now, once you do that guys, it is gone forever. So you cannot recover it. This folder right here, if we, you know, move this to trash, well, our trash is down here in the bottom left corner. We can just left click on that and we can just go ahead and restore this thing. However you want left click on it, restore selected item and it's back, right? But no, we're, gonna, we're just going to get rid of it because we don't want to see this thing ever again. So shift, delete, gone. Goodbye. All right. Now we have a document in jelly. Let's put a document in peanut butter. Let's go to create new document, empty document. Let's say planters. Because planters makes awesome peanut butter, right? So we're going to open that up. We still have stuff open over here. We can just close it by doing that. And we're going to just say it's peanut time. I just didn't spell peanut correctly. So it's peanut time. Capitalize the peanut because they're pretty cool. You can hold the, I'm sorry. You can hit control S to save or you can just click save. Both do the trick. So we'll close that. Now we're going to close out of this folder. And now we're going to talk about permissions. 
And right before we talk about permissions, I'm going to show you this. If you right click on this folder guys and you go to properties, it's going to show you all kinds of information about this folder. It's going to show you the folder name, the directory that it's in right here, that's location. Uh, it's going to show you that it is a folder, that's the type of file it is, or directory, directory folder, it's the same thing. It's going to say there's four items inside, so it shows you the contents. Four items totaling 8.2 kilobytes, that's cool to know, right? And it shows you that the volume, that really means hard drive. And I don't know why it says unknown, I'll have to look into that, but we do know that there's 44.5 gigabytes of free space on it, so this isn't going to really add up to anything. Uh, let's talk about the permissions now. Let's talk about this owner field really quickly. So the first part of this is the group that is that has ownership over this file and the person that has ownership over this file. So you can see Brian Story and if I go up here, yep, I'm logged in as Brian Story so I'm the owner of this thing. So as the owner I can give myself permissions. I can say I can create or delete files and you see how there's like, this is just a regular folder. If I click on access files, it puts a little bit of a lock on there. So if there's a lock on here, it means I'm restricted from doing things. So if I want to go in here and I want to like delete this, just like right click, I can't like move it to trash, I can't delete it, I can't do like anything with this except open it. So that's, that's what it means. I have access to it but I can't remove it, I can't delete anything. But now if I go back here and I go to create and delete files, that lock is no longer there, and if I want to move this trash, it's right there. I can go ahead and do it. And now we're going to restore it. I'm a little click happy today. So, one more thing that you can do, guys, is from the properties, you can rename this folder from here by just deleting whatever and hitting enter, and it returned the name. So, let's talk about. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. We're going to go over like groups and this other field in a later tutorial when we can actually get into the command line. And uh, so guys, subscribe and I'll talk to you later.